Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to a very warm day in Thailand. We still have roosters. So I was having, I am having so much fun with this story. So let's cover a few things first, Hans and Gretel. This is a true story and it's an ongoing story. Right at this moment in time, Hans and Gretel are still together well they were as of yesterday and living in Kanchanaburi bridge over river quite 70 minutes that way some of you picked up on some of the comments last episode 3 I said he flew from Manchester via Middle East I meant Munich well spotted your comments Hans and Gretel, newly together. They've just arrived in Kenshinabri into their new rented house. And Gretel has taken the role on as Hans' mother. They've had one night together in the house. And as I mentioned before, Hans finished his life in in the UK still got a sister back there postal address ex Philippine wife gone all paid up everything done he's got his German passport he's got his main government pension and a couple of little pensions which add up to we're gonna say 50,000 Thai baht a month his money's still in Germany get mixed up with the UK and Germany but he is German he's still German to this day with a funny accent speaks English funny ac German accent whenever I see him um, 50,000 Thai baht a month income paid into his German bank account he doesn't have a vehicle here in Thailand on day one the house is on a gated community with about 20 detached all three bedroom properties all identical in one block square all inside a gated community and a wall no swimming pools quite a few foreigners living on that estate the housing estate is less than a year old a friend of Gretel apparently owns the house and they've managed to rent it very cheap at 8,000 Thai baht a month but it's in Kanchanaburi so the prices are low because they're away from Bangkok and away from the beaches Kanchanaburi bridge over river Kwai as it's famous for is quite cheap to stay there and live there so uh, it's about right the price basic furniture bed fridge settee small telly uh, very basic Gretel has a twin sister which Hans has not met yet she lives in a house that possibly is Gretel's and Gretel has a grown-up son who sometimes stays there so those are the basics covered first night together no aerobics Gretel found it strange but day two which we're gonna call day one she pulled out all these this paperwork methodically done Thai English German all translated all put into folders with those little plastic edge bits on and in sleeves and she'd obviously been in either the banking industry or accounts or a clerk or an office environment the way she'd set it all out and how has she got the German translation amazing amazing she's taken the role of mother Hans has taken the role of of the new son but boyfriend girlfriend so day one they've got up they've had a wander around the estate they've had a wander around the the outer edge and they talked about 
when they got back, health insurance being the first item that Anne's needed, whether he's with or without Gretel in the future. She was very positive in the way she spoke to him and explained that even with or without me, you'll need this. And that we'll do it through my sister, twin sister, who's an assistant manager in a local Thai bank and recommended a 50,000 baht a year policy. And he, as I said before, is about, I think it was about, he must be 64 then, must be 64. Um, and she said, we've got to get a Thai bank account first, we'll get a couple. One for cash flow for you and one for bills. She wanted to, she'd already paid the deposit on the house, six months rent and a month's rent as well. And she got a receipt and it was in a, another folder, bills folder. The house was in her name. She had a piece of paper on top and said to him, right, if you're more comfortable, you can have this house in your name. And the advantage of that is you will be able to get some other paperwork further down the road which will help you. And there is a the rental agreement. I've already spoken to the landlady, even though I put it in my name initially to give a deposit. There's the form, you fill it all in and it automatically goes into your name. We need a bank account first to get the direct debit set up to pay the rent. Hans is like, yep, he fully understands this. He's not too bad with paperwork and money. Fully understands that, brilliant. He said, first, we need to go and get some shopping. We need to get some lunch. And he'd already told her he eat some Thai food, not too spicy. Just around the corner from the house was a macro. Now as an expat in Thailand, macro has a lot of foods from different countries. It's brilliant. So she says, we'll go and get lunch first and then we'll go to macro, bring some food back. Okay, so off they go. She said, later in the afternoon we'll do the banks. Jumps in her car, drives off, five minutes. There's a, quite a modern coffee shop, eatery, Thai food and foreign food, five minutes away. Um, and easy navigating there. They have some lunch, she has a bit of Thai food, tries some and a beer, he does like his beer, chatting as normal, he's giving feedback, she's asking for feedback, he's giving feedback how much he loves it so far. They head to Macro, he loves it, there's lots of stuff there from Germany, good meat section, anyway it's Macro, so they do some shopping, spent about 4,000 baht he pays he's got that bit of money he's changed and back home unpack everything put it in the fridge they just relax for an hour while she gets the paperwork together first of all she says she's gonna we're gonna have to stop at a shop to get photocopies of all his passport pages and his bank details and bank accounts and pension paper. She said, I want to get a copy of everything you possess paperwork wise so I can make it easier for you to get everything. And he's like, brilliant. So they go to a, uh, in the car, heading off. They're gonna do the bank accounts. Go to a shop, park the car. This little print shop does everything. And 15 minutes all done. And he's looking around outside at the other shops and he's loving it. Kanchanabri is growing as a city rapidly and it is lovely. So then they come out of the shop across the road and it's two lanes and two lanes. It tells them about traffic and crossing the roads. Across the roads, the bank, her sister, twin sister, is assistant manager. Now she says, we can't physically see my sister to do this because it's unethical. I said, okay. She said, I've already arranged with her that this certain assistant girl 
is going to do everything for us. And he says, okay. The bank is a Grung Thai bank. It's like a farmer's Thai bank. They do mortgages, they do loans, they do everything, insurance, pretty much everything. But it's mainly a Thai bank. In they go, assistance there, ready, knows, she's rung ahead. Takes them to a, one side, it's open plan bank, sits them down. And Hans doesn't understand the language she's saying, but within 20 minutes, he has got a Thai book, bank book. You can see the account number, but his name's in Thai and it's all in Thai. Nothing in there at all in German or English. All in Thai. And he's given a card, an ATM card, and he has to punch a, a pin number in. So he makes up a pin there on one of his little machine, blah, 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 a couple of times. And Gretel says to him, make a note of that number. So he pulls out his phone and he taps it into his phone somewhere. So he's got a card, he's got a, a, a bank account book. And she says that when you use this, you can update your book every time in the machine here. Just push it in, it updates and away you go. And your ATM card, it's just an ATM card. You can only use it for taking money from this bank. It's not a debit card or anything. Um, it's just an ATM for this bank. And she says, what I'm gonna do, because we're gonna use it for the bill account, the main account, do you mind if I get an ATM card for me on the same account and I'm co-sign? And she said, that way I pay all the bills and you haven't got to worry. And he thinks, fine, that's absolutely fine. There's only going to be a little bit of money in there for the bills. She said, you know, it's just each monthly bill, so I'll take care of it and show you. Get receipts for everything. So he's like, okay. So she gets a card, gets pin number, signs some bits of paper. All done. There you go, she says. Now there's your first bank account in Thailand and an ATM card. She says will transfer money from Germany to your other bank will open and then you can I'll show you how to transfer it here for the bills and, he th and she said that way you control your money in the other account not me you just put the money in here to pay the bills and he thinks oh brilliant he thinks you're wonderful he thinks you're, you're not trying to take my money off me you're not trying to do, you're just perfect and she is, she's, she's perfect. Absolutely brilliant. What could go wrong? Out they came to the bank. She said, we'll go there and do the insurance. But first you're gonna have to get money here. You're gonna have to, you need money now and we need to open another account. She walks in 50 meters to a Grung C. K-R-U-N-G-S-R-I, Grung C bank account, I think it's called the Bank of Aya I can never pronounce that word, yellow bank, in they go, there's a girl there knows her, go and sit down, how are you, blah blah blah, 20 minutes, there's a new bank account, there's a debit card, this is a Visa debit card, do a pin again, in he goes, put this in your phone, da 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 da, sets it all up, she says, this is your bank. I don't have a card or anything on this account. Online banking. Da, 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 da. Set passwords, goes through everything, gives him bits of paper. There you go, you've now got online banking. Give me a phone, blah, 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 app. There you go, you've now got an app on your phone. Foreign currency account. And I wish I'd known how quick they were. Da, 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 da. Euro German Euro uh, bank account in Thailand. You can send Euro to Euro, and when you're ready to change its Thai bar, if the exchange rate goes up, just move it to your Thai bank account, the same bank, just transfer it. Da 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 da, bang. Another book, no ATM card, just a book. Um, and pin numbers, online banking, confirm, passwords, it's all fixed together, everything just slots together. She even says to the girl, 
can you set up a link to his uh, wrong tie account so he can send money there easily for his bills she sets it up roughly did it done wonderful they come out of the bank he's now got two bank accounts two bank accounts ATM debit card visa foreign currency account oh this woman's wonderful we all need a woman like this I asked you on the last video what was the next thing going to be on pages two three and four of the book we know health insurance is coming and that'll be back at the other bank some of you have said they're going to buy a car they're going to buy sofas they're going to buy fridge they're going to buy beds they're going to furnish the house you might be right but again, I'm having so much fun with these. I'm just going to slowly tell this story, I think. <laughs> this woman, Gretel, is wonderful. Home they go. Then they come to the subject. Beer comes out. Gretel sits him down. Says, Hans Solo. Star Wars. Hans. <laughs> no one spotted that, did you? Hans Solo Aerobics. Star Wars link. Yeah, I think Quentin spotted that. Han Solo. They got a beer. She likes drinking wine and she'd got some at Macro. Can we talk about sex? Better known on this channel as Horizontal Aerobics. Can we talk about it? I want to understand you, your requirements. It looks like we're fitting together everything's good what do you think and he, said, he said you're fabulous you're beautiful you dress well you're amazing I will happily live with you forever um. <laughs> he says I don't like physical contact he said it's it's a it's, you, whatever you want to call it he says I don't like aerobics I don't like touching another person I don't like another person touching me blah 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 and then at the end of it he says and one of the reasons is that my my tackle my men's piece my men's genitals does not work it's never worked in my life it never stands up to attention it's broken doesn't work even though I have feeling there it doesn't work I've never it's never worked and she says never and he says well I've never managed to no one's ever in any girlfriend wife been able to do anything with me and she says if we're going to be partners I'd like to explore to see if we can get it to work a few attempts at different ideas of mine and you know they're only just, just starting to stay together but this is important in their head you need to understand whether this is a some form of a disability so I would like to try and try some stuff out to see whether it's just a block in your mind etc and I have some ideas maybe we can explore over the coming days or weeks would you be prepared for us to try some things and he said mm, reluctantly okay what's she going to try with him how is she going to make it work? What's she got up her sleeve? Come on, guys, comment. But can you please put your comments in a wording similar to the aerobics wording and the solo aerobics? Keep it clean. <laughs> How on earth is she going to make him stand to attention? He's got his bank accounts. Insurance next. 
those other comments from you, cars and all that stuff, maybe that's coming. <laughs> Han Solo. And I suppose one disclaimer I need to make. Hans is somebody I've met a few times who's told me the story in depth. 70 kilometers away. He doesn't know that I'm telling this story about him because his name's not really Hans. Um, he is German, born, bred, Germany. I also have another friend, you could put this as a similar story in some ways, but it's not him. This is a German person. But I haven't told him I'm doing the story. I wonder how long before he twigs and knocks on my door. <laughs> Yes, that would be interesting. Right, see you on the next episode. Bye for now. Go back to my coffee. Ta-da.